This is a video on how to install Dialog EPL on the Raspberry Pi. This is not a video on how to install the operating system. For that, you should go on the web and this uh, location here is a pretty good one. If you will be installing the operating system itself, just make sure that you are installing the proper operating system, like the Raspbian Wheezy and not the soft load Debian Wheezy. Dialog EPL will only install on the Raspbian Wheezy and not the soft flow Debian Wheezy. This is the Raspberry Pi. This is what it looks like. Two USB ports, one internet port, TV out, software, and line in. So let's plug it in. Light is on. Software is loading. Let's put in the internet cable. Let's try to communicate with it. If your Pi is already set up with an operating system, the first thing you should do is go at packages.dialog.com. There you will find instructions on how to install Dialog APL. You will see here the complete set of instructions. It's pretty simple actually. Let's do it. With the Pi connected, we need to communicate with it. And for this, I have set up PuTTY to be able to communicate with the Pi. If we look at it, I have already set up the address on my network and all I have to do at this moment is to open it. Okay, so now the Pi is ready. Let's enter the username, password, and we're ready. The first thing to do is to become root. The second thing is to execute this string here. That went well. Then this string here. Then get the updates. Copy the string again. Fast forward. While this is being done, we can copy this string over here. Then we execute the last string, which should install Dialog APL. Say so yes. Read the license. If you agree with it, you accept it. And we're done. Let's see if it works. Yes, it does. And we even have a special workspace which, which introduces you to ABL. Now, if I try to type characters in the session, I see that it seems to be working. Now, if I want the ABL characters, this is a different thing. On my PC here, I have already installed Dialog APL. And as you can see on my keyboard, I have the IME which is possibly selected. In this case, it isn't selected because my PuTTY window is only using the United Kingdom keyboard at the moment. But if I select the Dialog APL IME, then now I should be able to enter APL characters. For example, IOTA 9. There we go. The sum of IOTA 9, 45. This is right. We can look at the library that is being supplied. There's a number of workspaces here. And that's it. This is working. I now have APL installed on the Raspberry Pi. Now, if I want to send workspaces files over to, to the Raspberry Pi, I have several options. One of the things I can do is to use the USB port, plug in a USB stick, a memory stick in there, 
and transfer file. Um, at the moment I have nothing installed, so I would have to mount one of the memory sticks and then I could copy over using CP or whatever. But if you're using Windows, you can also use something called WinSCP. So this is the product. You can go on the internet and get it for free. It's a remote copy program. So right now, if I want to communicate from my Windows machine to my Pi, And now we got a window which allows me to transfer items from my PC to the Raspberry Pi. Here's how to uninstall Dialog EPL from the Raspberry Pi. First thing you do, make yourself root, and then you type. Okay, that's it. Enjoy.